Welcome to the Backstage Vault, where music's heartbeat and history come alive. Today, we're diving deep into the sonic revolution of Rage Against the Machine, a band that's more than just a name, it's a declaration of musical rebellion. Formed in the early 90s, Rage Against the Machine isn't your average rock band. They're a powerhouse fusion of rock, rap, and funk, laced with a relentless stream of politically charged lyrics. This isn't music to just nod your head to, it's a call to arms, an awakening of consciousness, and a rallying cry for those who demand change. But what makes Rage Against the Machine stand out in a sea of artists and bands? It's their uncompromising commitment to using their platform to challenge the status quo, confront injustices, and inspire action. Today, we're not just talking about music, we're exploring a movement. Our journey through the discography is a deep dive into how they've masterfully woven social and political messages into their hard-hitting tracks. From critiques of capitalism to standing in solidarity with marginalized communities, their message is loud, clear, and impossible to ignore. All right, let's crank up the volume and zoom into the genesis of this groundbreaking band. Rage Against the Machine didn't just form. They erupted in 1991, in Los Angeles, California, born from a blend of fiery passion and a shared desire to make music that matters. The lineup was a musical dynamite Zach De La Rocha, wielding his words like weapons, with vocals that could ignite revolutions. Tom Morello, the guitar wizard, whose riffs bend sound and minds alike. Tim Comerford, on bass, laying down grooves that shake the soul. And Brad Wilk, on drums, pounding out rhythms that march listeners to the beat of justice. What glued these talents together wasn't just a mutual love for music, but a shared vision for what music could achieve a tool for awakening, a weapon against oppression. Before the band, each member was exploring their musical and ideological paths. De La Rocha spit fire in a band called Inside Out, Morello shredded strings with Lock Up, Comerford and Wilk rhythmically rebelled in various projects. Their coming together was like a perfectly timed explosion, destined to change the face of music. Rage Against the Machine's music is a rich stew, seasoned with the raw energy of punk, the soulful grooves of funk, and the lyrical flow of hip-hop, all served on a platter of heavy metal and hard rock. This wasn't just a band, it was a musical revolution. They looked up to the likes of The Clash, Public Enemy, Led Zeppelin, and Africa Bambata, drawing inspiration from their sounds and their stands. This eclectic mix of influences helped them to craft a sound that was explosive, compelling, and utterly unique. They didn't just play music, they launched sonic assaults that challenged listeners to think, question, and stand up. In the heart of their sound lies a deep, unyielding belief in the power of music to ignite change. With every riff, rhyme, and rhythm, Rage Against the Machine delivers a message that's as potent as their name suggests. Lyrics are a relentless assault on the ears and minds of their listeners, packed with messages of social injustice, anti-capitalism, and anti-authoritarianism. Their songs are not just tunes, they're manifestos, calls to action, and reflections on society's ailments. Take, for example, the iconic track, Killing in the Name. This song is a powerful condemnation of police brutality and institutional racism, famously punctuated with the line, some of those that work forces, are the same that burn crosses. It's a stark reminder of the overlapping history of law enforcement and racist violence in the United States. The song became an anthem for those fighting against systemic oppression, showcasing how the band uses its music to spotlight social issues and demand justice. In, Bulls on Parade, they critique the military-industrial complex and the commodification of war, highlighting how profit is often placed above human lives. The fiery guitar solos and explosive beats drive home the message of resistance against the forces that prioritize money over morality. Historical and political events have always influenced their music, providing context and fuel for their lyrical fire. The early 90s, when they burst onto the scene, was a time of significant social and political upheaval. From the Rodney King riots to the anti-globalization protests, the band drew inspiration from the struggles and movements of their time, channeling the collective anger and hope into their music. They didn't just observe history, they became a part of it, using their platform to amplify the voices of the marginalized and oppressed. The songs are also deeply rooted in their personal convictions and experiences. Zac de la Rocha's heritage and activism, Tom Morello's Harvard-educated insights into political theory, Tim Comerford and Brad Wilk's commitment to social causes, all these elements blend into their music, creating a potent mix of intellect, emotion, and raw energy. Their songs are a reflection of their lives, their battles, and their unwavering commitment to fight for a better world. In essence, 
Rage Against the Machine's music is a tapestry of resistance, woven with threads of anger, hope, and relentless energy. They challenge us to confront uncomfortable truths, to question the world around us, and to stand up against injustice. Imagine a world where music is more than melodies and rhythms, it's a catalyst for change, a voice for the voiceless. That's the world they have helped shape. Rage Against the Machine didn't just break the mold, they smashed it to pieces. Their raw energy, innovative sound, and unapologetic political messages challenge the norms of the music industry head-on. In an era dominated by grunge and pop, the fusion of rap, rock, and funk, combined with their politically charged lyrics, stood out like a sore thumb. Yet, it was this distinctiveness that captivated audiences and influenced a generation of artists. Bands like Linkin Park, System of a Down, and Audioslave, to which Morello, Comerford, and Wilk would later contribute, owe a debt to the pioneering sound and ethos. Their approach showed that music could be both commercially successful and deeply meaningful, inspiring artists to weave social and political themes into their work. Rage bold stance on issues like police brutality, income inequality, and corporate greed resonated with a generation disillusioned by the status quo, encouraging young people to question authority and become politically active. Their involvement in activism, ranging from participating in protests to speaking out against injustices in interviews and social media, demonstrated how artists could use their platform for advocacy. This blend of art and activism sparked conversations about the role of musicians in society, pushing the boundaries of what was expected from the entertainment industry. Rage Against the Machine's legacy is a testament to their profound impact on both music and culture. They showed the world that music could be a powerful force for change, challenging listeners to not only rage against the machine but to also become part of the movement towards a more just and equitable society. First up, public reactions. Their political stances have always been bold and unapologetic, sparking both admiration and controversy. From their vocal opposition to the death penalty to their support for political prisoners, their activism didn't always sit well with everyone. Take, for example, their iconic performance at the 2000 MTV Video Music Awards. The band performed, Testify, while the American flag flew upside down behind them, a universal sign of distress and a potent symbol of protest. This act alone sparked heated debates across the nation, with some praising their courage and others condemning what they saw as disrespect. Then there was the unforgettable moment in 1993 when they protested against censorship by standing naked on stage at Lollapalooza, their mouths gagged, and the letters PMRC painted on their chests, taking a stand against the Parents Music Resource Center's push for music censorship. It was silent but screamed volumes about their stance on freedom of expression. The journey was peppered with moments of censorship and backlash. Radio stations sometimes pulled their songs from the airwaves, fearing the potent political messages could incite controversy, or worse, action. Their music videos were scrutinized and, in some cases, banned from television networks. Despite these hurdles, they stood firm, using these attempts at silencing them as fuel for their fire, proving time and again that their music and message could not be contained. But how did they address these issues? With unwavering resilience and creativity. The band turned controversy into conversation, using each challenge as a platform to further amplify their message. They engaged directly with their fans, encouraging dialogue and debate about the issues they sang about. Through interviews, op-eds, and social media, they took every opportunity to explain the rationale behind their actions and beliefs, inviting their audience to look beyond the music and see the message. In essence, Rage Against the Machine faced the music of controversy and censorship with the same energy and passion that they poured into their songs. They didn't just navigate through these challenges, they used them as opportunities to strengthen their voice, broaden their impact, and rally their fans around the causes they held dear. Moreover, Rage Against the Machine's influence extends beyond the notes and lyrics, it's embedded in the very ethos of activism that they championed. Today, we see a new wave of artists who not only acknowledge their impact on their music but also adopt their model of using their platform for advocacy. This legacy of activism, fused with musical innovation, encourages artists to be outspoken about their beliefs and to use their art as a form of resistance. So, as we turn up the volume on tracks like, Guerrilla Radio, and, Freedom, we're not just listening to a band from the 90s we're engaging with a living, breathing manifesto for change. Rage Against the Machine's music continues to fuel the fire of activism, proving that art can be a powerful catalyst for social and political transformation. As the backstage vault pays homage to this iconic band, 
were reminded that rage against the machine's journey is far from over. Their music, message, and legacy continue to echo through the halls of history and into the heart of the current generation. They didn't just rage against the machine, they became the architects of a movement that continues to inspire, challenge, and mobilize. So, dear listeners, as we wrap up this sonic exploration of rage against the machine, let's carry forward their torch of resistance. Let their music remind us that we have the power to challenge the status quo, to stand up for what's right, and to make our voices heard. Rage against the machine may have laid the groundwork, but it's up to us to keep the flames of change burning bright. Thank you for tuning into the Backstage Vault. Remember, music isn't just about the rhythm in the melody, it's about the message it carries and the movement it ignites. Until next time, keep raging against the machine and keep the spirit of rebellion alive. Rock on!